flames take over the roof of a Dayton business. But it wasn't the uh, smoke alarm that first brought crews to the scene, as Jordan Burgess explains with the tales of our top story. Right now, firefighters are thankful things weren't worse here, but the owner of Wendell's Clothing Store here on Philadelphia Drive will have some repairs to make later this morning. Take a look at some of the damage from that fire. Most of it is up on the roof, but it's kind of hard to see, partly because it's dark and partly because firefighters say they caught this fire just in time. And take a look at the scene a few hours ago here at Wendell's on Philadelphia Drive. Crews chopped and cut their way through part of the roof with axes and saws looking for sparks from the fire. Officials say it started because of an electrical problem. Police showed up first because the burglar alarm went off. Soon after, firefighters were there to keep the fire in check before it got out of control. And firefighters also had to deal with a hydrant that came out of the ground when they tried to use it, spraying the street with water. Despite all that, officials say thankfully Wendell's clothing store didn't suffer much damage. Firefighters tried what they could to keep the stuff inside safe. We got crews in there. We covered everything up with plastic and uh, we're salvaging stuff and moving it back away from the wind area uh, so we can take the uh, wet and down the roof area. And right now that hydrant that was leaking before has been shut off, but the streets are still covered with water. In fact, you can see some of that salt out there trying to keep them from getting icy. So if you're headed this way this morning, you might want to be a little bit careful. And also as far as Wendell's itself, authorities say they're not sure when it will be able to open again. They say that electrical problem has to be fixed and then the power restored. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.